So what exactly does somebody eat when they're getting ready for a fitness competition? Because I get this question a lot, especially the last few weeks. I'm four weeks out from stepping on the stage, the IMBA fitness competition. I'm super pumped. The question I've been getting is, Brad, what do you eat? Well, I'm going to answer that for you very shortly. Guys, thank you very much. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited. If you're returning, thank you so much. As a subscriber, you mean a lot to me. Yes. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, like, share, thumbs up, do whatever you got to do. Support the channel because I can support you. I can inspire you, hopefully. Okay, so the question I usually get, or have been getting the last two weeks, uh, mainly the last two weeks, is Brad, what do you eat? How do you prepare yourself for that? How, what have you been eating to get ready for the stage? Like, like they saw my photos up on Facebook like two days ago. I'll throw them up on your screen. They're like, Brad, how the hell do you do it? What's your secret? Guys, there is no real secret. You just do something very basic consistently. That's all it is really. Um, consistency is, is really the key. Now, I will throw this up on your screen right now. This is my nutrition plan. And it's very straightforward. Now, it's a carb cycling nutrition plan. So I talk about this in another video somewhere in the past. I'll quickly bring it up again. Carb cycling is really just cycling between days of zero carbs, low carbs, medium carbs or high carbs, or low, medium, high carbs. So you're cycling. So you might have, if you have one day where you have low carbs, on that same day, you'll have high fat. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have high carb days or one high carb day, and you'll have low fat or no fat on that day. So if you think of it like high carb, low fat, low carb, high fat, right? And protein remains the same, thereabouts. So your protein, carb, fat. So all we're doing is recycling carb, fat, carb, fat. Yeah, so high fat low carb or high carb, low fat. So that's the general carb cycling thing. The mechanics of how it works is another video. So that's what I'm on. In terms of what I eat around that framework of carb cycling, it's really just, you know, basic carbs. Like we're talking like nothing complicated guys, nothing complicated. In terms of protein, my protein, I'll throw it up in the screen, is red meat, chicken or fish. Right? Red meat, chicken, fish. My choice, essentially. And then in terms of my carbs, it's rice, it's veggies, you know. My high carb day, you see at the top there of the screen that, you know, Monday, Thursday, zero carbs. You look at the very top. Monday, Thursday, zero. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, moderate. Saturday is low and Sunday is high. You know, I've seen different carb cycling, you know, plans, you know, there's no one size fits all approach. You just, you know, you get given a carb cycling plan and then you tweak it and adjust it according to the results. And it, you know, it is hard to, it, well, it is challenging if you've never done this before. Carb cycling does require a little bit more attention to detail with your nutrition planning and so forth. But um, I took more about planning, like I took more about food prep stuff, all this in another video, but in terms of what I eat, ACV on the top of the screen is apple cider vinegar. So I talk about apple cider vinegar in another video. Nothing special about that, right? it's got health benefits, lots of health benefits, check it out. Apple cider vinegar. And then it's essentially red meat and coconut oil, and I've been spooning it, like straight off the spoon. Now, I know you freak out going, how can you eat coconut oil straight off the spoon? It's actually quite nice. A couple of years ago, when I first started my journey to healthy, fit and strong, maybe four or five years ago, I started taking coconut oil and I read about all these great benefits of coconut oil. If you don't know the benefits, you should check it out. Coconut oil is fantastic for your skin, for your hair, for your organs, for your brain function, for 
it's incredible. Like coconut oil is brilliant. It's another video, but go and check it out. Go and watch other videos of coconut oil. Vitago, and so Vitago, I talk about Vitago in another video, but it's a fast absorbing carbohydrate type. So it's a manufactured carbohydrate and it's a type of carbohydrate that's fast absorbing. And so Vitago is only taken post-workout, yeah? And, and with whey protein, because whey is a fast absorbing protein type. So I'll have that post-workout and essentially structure my meals every two to three hours. You know, the science says that as well. The science, the clinical research says that it's best, not mandatory, but it's best if you can space your protein and carb, you know, every two to three hours. You know, not a deal break if you can't, if it's every four or five hours or every six hours, but you know, clinically shown that it's best to have your protein and carb together every two to three hours if you want to maximize your, you know, your outcome, I guess. So yeah, make sure every two, three hours. And, and so that's great, every two, three hours in my case. Lots of veggies and just keeping it really simple. There's nothing complicated about this plan. The hardest thing about this plan is actually sticking to it. It's actually the mental side. This carb cycling is like, it makes a lot of sense from a nutritional point of view. The mechanics of it is really awesome. If you go and check out other videos, I'm releasing some myself later. Great concept, not the cure, not the end all and be all, but the most challenging aspect of carb cycling is this. Like it's, you gotta manage <laughs> this thing up here. It's a little crazy sometimes. You go from like high carbs on, like yesterday for example was high carbs for me. It was two, it was 300 grams of carbs. And, um, and to go from 300 grams of carbs to zero, it's like, it's like someone saying, Here's all this oxygen. Now we're going to starve the shit out of you. You know, there are times on this I struggle a little bit, but not not too bad. Like we're talking like maybe one day of the week, not every day of the week. And it might be like one or two hours where I feel a little bit tired, a little bit fatigued, a little bit crazy. I might feel like I feel like snapping at somebody, but I just want to hold it back because I know it's not them. I know it's me. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. No, it's not you. No, 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 no. It's not you. It's me. It's not you, it's me, it's me, it's me. It's the no carbs, that's the problem, right? So otherwise, it's all pretty good. Thanks very much, guys. I love that you've checked in. If you have any questions, leave them below. I hope this has answered your questions. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and like and share, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Ciao for now. I can't see. Sorry about that, I can't see.